Star returns at last. And Olivia Newton-John will also be back to join us once more on the couch. That and much more starting Monday here on The Circle. He's strong as heck. This is like the strongest little animal I ever saw. When you go from falling on stage or rubbing toes, I have a little animal. I'm going to climb up a set of damages. I guess I really tell him says things like, he's as strong as heck. And the boys have voiced for those unable to speak for themselves. She is an animal lover and passionate campaigner for animal rights. So we've arranged for her to meet some of our native wildlife that she is really enjoying. So while just Chris Humphrey joins us now along with a few fairy friends. Welcome, Chris. We're not going to clap because of all the animals, <laughs> and that bird's going to pick my eyes out. And the work of animals and children. Look at this little face. Look at Daddy now. Oh, my Where's God. He likes you Chris? better. Just, just oh, where do you, oh, you're where's such where's a darling. Let me go and look around. Oh, he's just going to have glory. a little bit of chaos oh. for you today. Chris, this is hard. This is cold, eh? Do people keep these as pets? No, they don't. We actually have a zoo, so these ones live at my house and my family. No, I'm not crazy about zoos, but Absolutely. I won't say another word about it. No, no, well, we actually have a 10-acre zoo, so these animals oh, live at my house. Oh, they roam, they roam. And this one actually oh. has a bit of a scrub on his tummy like this. Look, Look at you guys, this face is unbelievable. And you want to kiss him on the mouth. Well, it's <laughs> not a good idea. He's got bad breath. He's not stinking. <laughs> <laughs> I think he needs his deodorant on today. He's got a bit of a musky he smell. He doesn't smell. You don't smell. <laughs> <laughs> Is that his tail? Oh. No, that's his tail. Oh. <laughs> no, that's his tail. I can touch it. Wait a minute now. Can you not touch it just in case we get confused again? <laughs> now, I'll just grab my koala. What I'll do is. I'll hold him. You don't don't have, worry, I'm he wriggles a... around. He's just been woken up from his little nap. So he's, um, oh, he's, he's a little bit grumpy. And he, he likes it. He'd like a carrot, actually. How old yeah, is he? So Popper's about 12 months of age. So when oh, they get yeah. to 12 months, they're cute, cuddly little animals. And you remember them from fat soap and country practice. Yeah. But when they get to this age, they start becoming teenagers. Yeah. Yeah. And they start oh, getting a little crazy. bit sort of um, yeah. out of control. Yeah. Oh, I'll put the for it. Chucky, you're upstaging me, mate. Oh, I need to cook about it's looking at me. I'll just put this one down here. Let me go for a bit of a wander around. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's all right. Did hey, you see me. that? This is having a walk around. Oh, oh, now, what I'll do is just excuse my backside. Oh, oh, there's two on this couch. Everybody, so you just sit on this couch. <laughs> <way. laughs> It's only a bit of grass. It's all right. It's kind of hard. But these animals are in my house, so oh, they're amenable to the handling most of the time. I love the beyond description. I love the yellow. Oh, it's a chicken. Oh, my God. It's so funny. Now, Lily, you know what this is? Yeah, the world's largest kingfisher. I'm going to go visit uh, my friend in uh, Bertha Newton. Bertha Newton. Bertha Newton. And she has a half tame, probably like this. Oh, well, this one's actually trained. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm so Whoa. excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Welcome I to Australia. that one. Oh, and this is this is Boris. That's this is a, so sweet. That's a Western Australian kangaroo. I went to the rainforest last time I was here with a ranger. You know, he took us on an outing. It was so great. And he had grown up on a station, a, 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 a wildlife station, with a kangaroo. It's like, what are you guys laughing about the birds? All of it, Lily. You nearly been knocked unconscious by a wombat. <laughs> I don't think, not everyone can see what's actually oh, that little deposit no, there. I know it's morning tea time, but... Everyone's um, just cracked themselves. <laughs> doing what animals do, it's all right. Oh, Your laugh is actually pretty similar to the kookaburra's Mine? laugh. In a way, I think he oh. just did an impression of you. You I'm rude. But let me be honest, you couldn't get this quite to a wild, oh, you know, a koala no, in a while. So I would scratch you. These ones are, yeah, they're um, mum and dad, but... Um, You're so lucky that you get to... Uh, you know, interact with these little creatures. Oh, look, it's great because, you know, Australians don't realize how lucky we are having these creatures in our country. We take them for granted. And Chris, well, you know, I fell in love with these. I'm sorry. You no, know, you go. No, you, you go. go. You talk about it. No, I, I, just, the I was just going to talk about wombats because I, I, when I came last time, I bought a book about wombats, you know, and it was about this wonderful student who, maybe you know this book, The Secret Life of Wombats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Famous book. This young boy, when it burrowed in at night from private school, and he would go into their burrows at night and charted all their, and I thought it was just the most fascinating. Great story. I'll have to look it up. Um, Chris, I'll show you in the newspaper today. You've got some 
I'll show special off again. charges. Yeah, yeah, he was showing off. Little fruit bats. Little fruit bats. Babies. What's happened with the fruit bats and their mummies? Uh, just uh, you know, the chaotic weather we've had in Melbourne. You know, the mums and dads don't want to look after their babies anymore. And that's just unusual sort of weather patterns. They go, no, had enough of your kids. And oh. often when we go out into our you know, big aviaries at home, they, they leave the babies on the ground and, and don't look after them again. So you're so. now mummy and daddy to all these little fruit bats. That's why my hair's so messy this morning. I've been oh, up very I early feeding bet. animals. Yeah. But um, that but one bat over there, uh, Lily actually dug a hole through my laundry wall the other day, so it's, Aww. yeah, so it's getting quite, um... He's going out of the studio, he's yeah. had enough. <laughs> Hang me in he's alright, you can tell he's not stressed, he's just wambling around, he's about yeah, to bite someone's happy. Achilles tendon out of there. <laughs> 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 oh no, he doesn't carrot. want the carrot. But he's just having a good look, see, he's, he's smelling around, he's going, oh, oh, new territory to explore, and that's what wombats do, well, especially yeah. at this age. Lily, we hope that you enjoyed that little I bit of hands-on action and I got um, some wine that first. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that. I don't mind. Yeah, I'll take that three times. I'm going to put that away. <laughs> a big thank you to Chris Humphrey for bringing his very cute dress. Thank you. Oh, dress. Oh, thank you. No uh, we're going to be heading back to the kitchen with Toby Paddock right after makeup come in and fix my oh. face. We'll see you soon. Oh, Chris.